，也谢各位热情掌声。这个掌声呢，我们继续来欢迎。Now we would like to invite our next、um, presenters as well as our speaker. So now we would like to invite Professor Xu from the Taipei University of Education. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Wu, Professor Chen, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, I'm very honored to be here to meet all of you here. This morning, we saw a demonstration class. Starting from last year, I work with、um, Teacher Lin, who we have just saw in the demonstration class to design this class and the whole process. And each time, I also learn a lot from her. It's very exciting for me to see this whole process with everyone here. So, in the next few minutes, I would talk to you about what I saw and what I learned in the demonstration class. This is an example of smart teaching, and it's about the future. And it's about the current situation. We hope that the smart teachings will be available around the world for all the children. I was a primary school teacher, and now I teach in a university. We always focus about the educational objective. What is the objective of our education? This is a poem from Tegel, and it talks about you won't be able to see. The real, your real self. Instead, you only see your shadow. In our educations, we hope that we can teach the kids about the world, so they can have more understandings about everything outside and the world as well. Our subjects and our courses are helping our students to learn. About the world, but at the same time, we hope these students can learn about themselves. In the process, this is a still exploration experience. We want to know about ourselves and want to see the world and understand yourself. I think this is an important objective for education. The demonstration class today that we saw is familiar to me, but I am impressed again. First of all,、um, the teacher is obviously very experienced. She's very used to all the process. I think this is a very、um, advanced teaching process, and I think there's a lot of things that we can learn from the demonstration. Today, the class is talking about mission impossibles, but in the end, students 
are in power, they know it's possible to help people. And this is an, the, the demonstration that we saw today is about English teaching and to integrate different daily scenarios. For example, one day, if someone asks you about directions, are you confident enough and are you capable enough to give um, give them directions? So, uh, teacher leads are using technologies to survey and realize that some of the students were not that confident. So, uh, but after the demonstration class, many students become more confident in the process. A great class that this can help students to learn something new in every class and change the students a little bit day after day. And this class is designed about different capabilities and some people emphasize about uh, daily scenarios and some people talk about problem solving capabilities. I think it is important that you integrate your uh, teaching methods and teaching materials and connect them to their daily situation and daily scenarios. As a result, we have to incorporate what they what the students experience in life into the classroom and also help them put into practice what they learn in the classroom. So all the knowledge we acquire and obtain from class, from schools, is for us to solve the problems and to face the future. The design of the class included problem-solving skills and the real-life scenarios so the students can really learn how to solve their own problems and also other people's problems in real life. So that is what we call the lifestyle-oriented design for education. And that is what we witnessed, uh, what witnessed in the class. It was a perfect demonstration for that. In retrospect, we still remember in the beginning of the class, we could tell that the students were nervous on stage. So the teacher used very approachable, it's a very approachable style to encourage the students to boost their confidence and make it easy for the classroom. And we and the teacher made it made the students feel that it's just like every day in the class. So the students felt free to participate in discussion and we saw many different layers in Ms. Lin's design. For example, we started from phrases, vocabulary words, and then sentences, and then the whole paragraph, and also the scenarios for, for example, saving Bobo, the, the alien. And we had many missions, and very active class discussion during which they share their opinions and ideas and learn together. We witness a very lively class where all the students participated fully in the class. Throughout the process, we actually see the students' comprehension and that is, is crucial. Why do I say that? because usually in the class or sometimes a teacher is teaching more than 40, 50 and even 60 students and the teacher wants to know how much the students actually acquire. With the time passing, it is difficult for a teacher sometimes 
to understand or check the comprehension of the students in real time. In the smart classroom today, Ms. Lin used IRS and the tablets very wisely and smart in a smart way. The teacher could assess the student's comprehension in real time. Professor Wu once said, we don't want to leave anyone behind. So in the classroom, we didn't le let anyone behind. We want to know their situation, if they understand the content fully or with a very limited comprehension. We need to know that. And with this instructional technology, we can show the performance in terms of education and learning in real time. We often tell our teachers or we ask them why do we have to wait for a long time until we really know the results of teaching. For example, for some special additional sessions and then we have to do an exam first and after the exams and all the checking and grading we can finally know the students performance and then we give them additional classes do we have to wait till then that is why I said the real-time check-in is very crucial because when you understand and you know that you can help them right away and you don't have to give them additional classes as a result I would like to conclude the importance or the important points of smart teaching there are three key areas first of all it has to be real life oriented in the class we incorporate these attitudes and the skills that we the students need in real life so we want students life in the classroom we want these elements to complement the content of what we teach them. And of course, we notice that interpersonal relationships are also very important, especially for junior high school students, as what we observed today. So with the class and group discussion, they could talk to their peers and learn together. So this is the second key area, cooperative learning. And there are many, or finally, very important hand, the invisible hand that is playing a key role in the classroom that is instru instructional technology. I won't say that's the main role, that's the leading role, because the leading role will be played by the teacher and the students, but with the invisible hand, the instructional education, instructional technology, it can help us assess, uh, access the comprehension of the students in real time. Overall, Ms. Lane demonstrated the three key areas perfectly, and I really admire that. And finally, again, I would like to share with you some sentences from Tagore. I flew across the sky, I left no trace in the sky, but I have flown across the sky. It is just like learning and teaching in the classroom. When the class is dismissed, and the bell just rang, I usually joked that when the bell rang, all the students just go away and they don't care what you teach them instead they only care about the basketball in their hand if it is always like this after each and every class it is really a shame what we really want to achieve is like this we want the students know that maybe they don't see the trace 
they don't see the trajectory, but they know they've flown across the sky and they've learned, and they remember what they've learned. And the efforts by the schools and the teachers and the educators then will pay off. We don't want to only show the grades and the records of how good, how well they perform. We want the students to see their own progress. A good class is just like what Miss Lin demonstrated to us. For me personally, I see the students have their confidence boosted, and they grasp the essential skills that they need in real life. And when they go out the classroom, they can face the future and the challenges with the skills they learn in school. Thank you. Jian 教授。Thank you, Professor Xu. A round of applause again for Professor Xu. Thank you. Wonderful reflections, inspired by your quote of Tagore. We say that education has endless possibilities.